Okay, welcome back to Style Sunday. I'm very sorry we missed last week's, but this week's video is definitely gonna make up for it. What we're covering today is how to get the haircut that you've always wanted. So, without further ado, let's begin. I know so many people go into the barbers and come out disappointed with their cut. Sometimes this can be due to lack of communication. Sometimes it can be just down to barber's overall skill. However, if it is down to skill, don't go to that barber's anymore and find a new one. Because I have a good relationship and always speak to my barber before and during the cut, I always leave with a smile on my face and I always leave with the cut that I originally came in for. By following these three tips that I'm gonna give you today, you can know that you'll be sat in the chair, feeling confident, with a smile on your face throughout the cut, knowing that it's gonna be the end product that you want. But quickly, before we jump into the three tips that I'm gonna give you, we're gonna cover some quick barber, hairdresser, lingo terminology type things. So I'm going to list a number of different cuts and styles and hopefully put them up on the screen here so you can see what they look like and familiarize yourself with these styles. So let's start with number one, shaved head or as Americans call it, a buzz cut. Number two is a crew cut. So that's like a short back and sides faded with a scissor cut on top. And it doesn't really matter how long it is on top, but it's quite often shorter, the shorter rather than longer on top. Number three is a crop. That's just a straight fringe. It obviously looks better shorter than longer. Um, four, pompadour, classic cut. This is a cut that everybody gets and a style that everybody has in this day and age. Quiff slash fringe up. You'll see in the pictures how that's different to a pompadour. Um, it's very slightly different. A pompadour is more slicked back and a bit longer, whereas a fringe or a quiff can be quite short and just more straight up. Then you have a side parting where you get like almost like a line cut into your hair to really separate and exaggerate the parting. Then you have just classic spiky hair, short, spiked up all over, short on the sides. Um, and then we have a fade. That's just a classic fade. So going from a grade one or a number one all the way up to a four or a five and you can have a fade high or you can have a fade low, depending on what you like. Number nine is an undercut, that's where you shave it right up to here, and then you would have the hair much longer on top so it would almost flop over when it wasn't styled. 10 is just a skin fade, that's a little bit tighter than a normal fade. You go to a zero or even sometimes a less than a zero. Man bun, that's for a lot longer. If you come at the barbers and you want a man bun, you shouldn't be in the barbers really because you should be sat at home for like the next three years trying to grow your hair to get this look because that's what I would like to do but I don't have the patience. But anyway, 12, middle parting. Sometimes I rock a middle parting but it doesn't look as good with this blonde hair. It's a bit better when it's less obvious when my hair is a darker color. 13 is slick back, so that's when you push all your hair right back. You can do this when it's long, you can do it when it's, I could probably do it at this length, but you can't really do it when it's short because it tends to just spike up. So it has to be a longer rather than shorter. And finally, a side pompadour. So that's a pompadour cut in at the side, kind of like a cross between a side partner and a pompadour. But as you can see, I put all the pictures up on the side for you so you can familiarize yourself with those. So here are my three tips. By the way, these tips are not in any specific order. They're more of a checklist for what you need to do before getting your haircut, during getting your haircut, to make sure you walk out with the haircut you've always wanted. So, I'm gonna read maybe a little bit of my laptop because I've got quite important points that I need to hit in order for you to get the most out of this video. Okay, so number one, discussion pre-haircut, during the haircut, and just general communication. Be sure to communicate and talk to your barber before beginning the cut. Any good barber will have the time to talk to you prior to the cut and this will ensure you're both on the same wavelength. Tell your barber why you want this cut and depending on the barber's confidence, they'll be able to tell you if that haircut is for you or isn't for you and they might adapt that haircut to personally suit you. Don't be afraid to reinforce exactly what you want. This will give your barber a clear idea of what he or she is doing. Throughout the haircut, check up with your barber and make sure they have a clear picture of what it is you want and keep reinforcing. Okay, so two, terminology. This is something we've just covered, so there is no excuse at all to be using the incorrect lingo or not using any lingo. By using the correct terminology, it may be easier for your barber to build a picture in his or her head of exactly what it is you want. It's important to know exactly what you want before you go into the barber, so please make up your mind before you actually sit in the chair. If you're going for a fade, make sure you know what number you want your fade to start at, Know how high you want it, how low you want it, and what number you want it and you fade at. If you're going for a style, know the lingo, know the terminology, and that's gonna help your barber get a better understanding of what you want out of your haircut. 
free picture. This is a surefire way to guarantee that you're gonna get the cut that you want. With technology these days, there's absolutely no reason for you not to have a few different styles and screenshots on your phone to show your barber. So before you get in the chair or when you're in the chair, talk your barber through each of the styles, why you like them, show him the pictures, and obviously throughout the haircut, keep showing him the picture to make sure he is heading towards that style. Personally, I use two different apps to find hairstyle inspiration and haircut inspiration. I use Instagram, obviously, and um, just search hashtags, men's hairstyles, men's haircut, search the different keywords that I've talked you through, um, search pompadour, search side parting, search all of that stuff in Instagram on the hashtag section. Number two is Pinterest. A lot of people don't know that Pinterest is basically a catalog of different hairstyles and there really is an unlimited supply. I like to put my hairstyles on Pinterest in a different categories. Basically how it works on Pinterest, you pick a haircut, you pin it to a board. So I have different boards. I have men's short hair, men's medium hair, men's long hair, men's short sides. And I basically categorize each haircut into different groups. And then when I decide on a haircut, I pick it, I go into the group and then I have different pictures to show my barber what I like and he can get an idea of the style. Last time, the three key points. Number one, discuss and communicate. Number two, know exactly what you want and know the terminology. Number three, pictures are better than words. Everybody knows that, especially when it comes to haircuts. Now that's us finished. I think we may have a video that's under five minutes. By the way, this was all filmed on my iPhone X in 4K. This is my very first 4K video that I've ever put on YouTube. So please let me know how you found the quality. Do you like it? Do you like it better than the Canon? Um, obviously, if you have any questions at all, please comment down below. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Snapchat. Send me any questions you want and I'll always reply because I'm always happy to help. And of course, you can comment down below and I'll try and answer the questions down there too. Please, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next episode of Style Sunday, which will be next Sunday, and I promise you that.